Welcome to the Able Farmer channel. Today we are going to make hot dogs and trepaloni out of the deer meat that I harvested this year. So to do this I like to do a 20% pork to 80% deer and I weighed all this out and I have 5 pounds of pork and I have 19 pounds of deer. So I was short 1 pound to equal my 25 pounds. So I got a pound of ground chicken, if you guys remember that video. You want to know how to make your old tough roosters edible? I'll show you how. I thought this will go real well in this recipe. You probably won't even realize it. So I'm going to show you the seasoning real quick that we are going to use. You see I'm using Legs Custom Blend Seasonings for bologna and frankfurters. I'm making uh, uh, bologna and hot dogs. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you are interested. Alright, I have a pork roast here. I'm going to cut open. It's about two and a half pounds. Uh, yeah, about two and a half pounds. And I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to cut it into sizable pieces because I didn't have quite enough ground pork. So I'm just going to slice these in the strips or leave that fat on there okay now I'm going to take this meat and just throw it in here with my deer Maybe you can get me a little cup of water. Alright, next so I can mix the seasonings all up. I have a big pot here. And I am going to dump all my meat into here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water and then we're going to add our seasoning. This seasoning makes 25 pounds, I think I said that. Ooh, it smells good. Mm. It also comes with a pack of sodium nitrite, and uh, I'm going to put this in there. Which is often commonly referred to as pink salt. But that is what will make it cure. Yeah. So now that I have it in here, I'll give you a quick look. Give you a quick look here. So now what I'm going to do is try to mix all this meat all up together. I'm just going to do that by hand. Alright, I'm going to call that pretty good. Mm. So now we're going to get the meat grinder hooked up. Alright, we got the meat grinder hooked up here. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description below and uh, I have two different size faces that go on here grinding plates and I am starting out with the large one and we're going to grind this mixture twice and when we do the second grind we're going to switch to the small one so we're going to go fire this thing up it's pretty loud but uh, we're going to get this thing started
we got that all run through, I am going to then dump all this back into the original pot. And then I'm going to mix it up again. Just to make sure the pork and all of that is thoroughly integrated into the deer. Okay. That's pretty good. Next I'm going to take my grinder plate off. And we're going to put the small one on. And we're going to run this through again. Alright, I have about half of that ground through and it does make a big difference because this almost turns into a paste and that's kind of what you want when you make a hot dog is that pasty texture um, I still have about half of this to grind it's a lot slower uh, to grind the second time so it does take a while to grind it so I'm gonna stuff this thing full of this meat and we're gonna try to start stuffing hot dogs and I've never actually done this before with the hot dogs so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out alright took a few of these to kinda of get the hang of it I think I got it now so I'm gonna show you how we stuff this here so I got I got my gun filled up with the hot dog meat and then we're gonna slip this casing over the end of this and once you get on the end go ahead and stretch that out like a ribbon and then you just slide this over the end of the nozzle Okay, now I cut the casing, then I'll tie a little knot into the end, just to make sure it doesn't squirt out the other side here. Bring it in there tight, okay. So then, once you get it on there, you just start pumping. And see that it's coming through there. And you just pump this casing completely full. Once you get to the end, got a little bit of casing left over. But if you have enough room, go ahead and tie a knot. Um, sometimes I don't have enough room for a knot, I just twist it. But there you go. There's your hot dog. And then once you get it like this, you simply twist about bun length. You twist the casing like so. Yeah, about right there. There you go. There's five hot dogs right there. Pretty cool. Alright, you can see the hot dogs here. And I stuffed my first bologna roll. And I'm going to show you guys real quick how to do that. And you're just going to start pumping it full. I'll lay it down here. And one of these, actually take one of these tubes, just about perfect. Take your end and twist. 
And you take a piece of butcher twine and you tie it off. Log of baloney right there. And I'll show you how we fix those here later in the video. Alright, I got the smoker fired up and we have the trail baloney hanging in here. Uh, I just have them hanging off of a wooden rod and I have the smoker set at 150 degrees. We want to get the internal temperature of this baloney to approximately 150 to 155 degrees. So we're just going to shut it and keep monitoring it over the course of the day. Alright. See here. Alright guys, that's it. That's how you make hot dogs and trail bologna. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. We would appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.